Hey everyone, the numbers are in for Whisper Dunes in Panama City Beach for September 2021. Um, there's uh, an interesting shift happening in some parts of the real estate market, so I wanted to go uh, deep into pricing in this video this time for Whisper Dunes. I haven't done that in a couple of months. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and let's jump right into the numbers. Um, First of all, a couple of, of things that we're watching. I want to go through the overall market with you before we go into um, Whisper Dune specifically. Take a look at some of the things we've been tracking. Um, we track every week. We, we follow a couple of key metrics in the market. We want to look at the housing market and see how many homes are for sale. We also want to see week to week how many new listings are coming up for sale, meaning how many people are putting something new on the market. We're also tracking the number of new contracts that are written weekly. And also, of course, we're tracking the number of actual closings that we're having. Obviously, if we can keep track of the supply and how fast or slow supply is being added to the market, and then also the number of new contracts that are being written, this is a good way to keep up with, with what's happening. It's a really good way for us to look into the future. If we're writing, um, all of a sudden we start writing a ton of new contracts on property, we know that. 30, 45 days from now, we're going to have more closings. If all of a sudden we're writing fewer and fewer contracts, then obviously we're going to have fewer and fewer closings 30 or 45 days from now. So looking in May, I want to compare May of this year to September of this year. A lot of people, um, we know that very generally speaking, uh, real estate can be seasonal and there's this idea of the spring market. So in May, if a buyer was going to go out and look for a house to buy, if you look through this first column, there, there was there were quite a few less homes available in May than there were the May of the year before. Look at these numbers down 57%, 60%, 64%, 61%, 56%, 56%. Meaning there was in around 60% less homes for sale. So if, imagine you walked into the home superstore and one year you walked in just to browse and you saw all these homes for sale. The next time you walked in six of the 10 homes that were for sale aren't there. You just have that much less choice, which puts that much more pressure on a buyer. Buyers have to, to write stronger offers, very much seller market territory. In September, we still were in low inventory situation, but look, we're not, it's not as dramatic. 16% down, 18% down, 18% down, 23, 25, and 18. So buyers still have few choices or fewer choices when compared to last year. But think about what's going on in their brain. If you compare it to May, they actually have a little bit more choice than they did. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch how that trend continues. Um, if you look at the number of new contracts being written, in May we were up 24%, up 18%, down 12 up 3 and down 17 A pretty similar story in September. Um, up 20, uh, sorry, down 17 up 23 down 20 up 20, down 24, maybe a few percentage points more to the downside in a couple of those uh, weeks than we had seen previously. So maybe we're not writing quite as many, but but still very, very comparable. When you look at the number of closings, that's this sold column here. Um, the first week of May was 150% more closings on homes than the, the year before, 133, up 20, up 50, up 41. Pretty, pretty substantial difference. In September, we've cooled off a little bit, 12% more closings, 12% more, 37% more, and down 24%, down 54%. So um, still very good, just not quite as hot as we were earlier in the year. If you look at, you guys, I've said this so many times recently that um, I, just, I just love this chart. That's why I laugh every time. Um, this is representative of the housing market up to $500,000 in Panama City Beach. The red line represents the number of uh, homes that are for sale at any given point. And this is the beginning of the pandemic right in here. And you can see um, ever since May of 2020, we've had fewer and fewer and fewer homes for sale month over month over month. There's a little bit of an of a uptick there and a little bit of an uptick here recently. But for the most part, if a buyer is shopping for a house, they, they feel the pressure because as time goes on, they just there's less to choose from. Um, a seller feels more and more like they have the advantage because their competition dwindles. So instead of having competing with 
10 other sellers and next month it's nine and then eight or what have you. This month's of inventory number, you know, um, is an important one. I, I laugh again because I, I explained this so many times, but it's really important to understand. Um, months of inventory is a great barometer of what is happening in the real estate market. Four or five months of inventory traditionally represents a neutral market, meaning seller calls real estate office. We take photos, get the marketing going, arrange for showings, work through the whole process, uh, negotiate a contract, and then get that contract closed. Traditionally, that would take four or five months to go through the whole thing. When that process is happening faster, if that process is happening in one or two months, there's more demand. Uh, we're in seller market territory, that kind of thing. So look at where we've been in housing. Um, here's the beginning of the pandemic right in here. A lot of last year, we were in two months of inventory, which is very, very, very healthy, very solid, strong. Early this year, we dipped to one month. And at one point, we were under one month of inventory, meaning theoretically, the whole housing market would sell out in less than a month. Uh, that's how hot we've been. It's I know a lot of us have heard about a hot real estate market, and we almost start to take it for granted that it just is hot. But I've been doing this for 18 years and you don't see markets like this very often. And so uh, it's very interesting to see just how extreme these numbers are. Um, we've slowed a little bit from 0.71 or 0.92 months of inventory to a little over one month of inventory. But remember, just over 1.1 month of inventory is still a very healthy, solid uh, market for um, sellers, especially. Uh, this, this is the graph for Whisper Dunes. It's a little harder to track consistently what's going on in Whisper in a, in a, when you're only taking a, that much less data to sample from. But you can see, generally speaking, it's the same idea. The red line is the number of homes for sale in Whisper Dunes. And you can see it's just gone down, 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 down. In fact, it was non-existent for a few months. Um, and again, that months of inventory number, if you look at this, just really, really low. There's a lot of zeros and NAs because um, you either have something come up for sale and sell in the same month, or you just didn't have anything sell in a given month. Again, just because we have less to choose from or less data to track. So I haven't done a deep dive in Whisper Dunes in a couple months. So let's go back for sales for August and September. And then let's look at what's on the market and what's under contract. Some very interesting things, um, happening. So one of the townhomes over on Fox Glove closed at 315,000. We had a 3-2 on Blue Sage close at 4.15, and we had another one close at 4.30. Um, when you look at what's for sale and what's under contract, I'll range this by price. Um, you have one of the townhomes over on Sand Oak is, is asking 262889 It's under contract. Uh, we're working on this one, 290, uh, 120 Fox Glove is asking 299 800 We have multiple offers on that that we're negotiating today that probably will go under contract shortly. Um, 331 Blue Sage is asking 429 It's under contract. 227 is asking 435 It's under contract. We're working on these next two. 318 Blue Sage is asking 455 and It's under contract. And 204 Blue Sage is asking 459 and It's under contract. Um, both of those, I think it's interesting to note that even though they had a little less square footage than some of these that were selling for less, we were really able to push the envelope on pricing. And that comes straight from understanding this, um, knowing that we just have, um, a lot of demand, even though the comparable sales, probably these, this pricing right in here is probably in line with past sales. Like we looked at. We felt like we could really push the envelope here, and we did, and we got strong contracts on both of these. Um, 105 Blue Sage is asking for 69 and it's under contract. And 332 Blue Sage is asking 519.9, and it's under contract. As you can see, uh, and then there's one other one we were working on, but uh, the owners ended up going under contract. They ran across someone that they knew um, and have that one for sale is another one. I think it's 459 are the numbers I'm hearing on that. Uh, one thing to pay attention to is outside of that one on Fox Glove, which will probably go under contract shortly, there's nothing for sale. So if you're thinking about selling, timing's right for you to sell. Uh, timing couldn't be better. 
The overall market is hot, just over one month of inventory. Um, there is nothing for sale, so you have no competition. You can almost make your own market. You potentially could even press pricing even higher than where it is today. Um, so again, very, very good, good market. We're going to make sure and update pricing on a regular basis for you here over the next few months, just because we're seeing some shifts in other parts of the market. But um, overall, uh, we don't see anything happening with pricing going in the other direction for sure in Whisper Dunes anytime soon. Um, most of you are probably on our e-alert system already. If you're not, uh, shoot me a text to 850-527-0221. Remember our e-alert system will send you an email anytime something comes up for sale in Whisper Dunes changes price, goes under contract or sells. This is uh, the most accurate system I've seen since I started selling real estate in 2003. Um, you can, uh, it'll give you, it'll send you the accurate sales price and sales date straight from our realtor system. Um, so very, very good. We can email something to you anytime something happens so you can stay very current with the market, or if you're only interested in seeing it once a week or once a month, we can set you up to receive it that often also. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, we're going to do a deep dive into pricing again and see what one of these, some of these contracts close at for you for next month. In the meantime, uh, stay safe, be well. Thanks for watching.